If you guys like how I do my chart analysis on YouTube and you want to learn how to do it yourself, click the link below to check out the VTrades technical analysis course. What's up traders? This is VTrades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Shopify with the ticker symbol SHOP. This was a viewer's request and thank you for your donation. If you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Also take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate it very much. This video is for entertainment purposes only, does not constitute any financial advice. I will first go over what I see in the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. Man, the market had a huge sell off today and it looks like it's going to continue to sell off in the foreseeable future. So let's take a look at the daily chart for Shopify, where it dropped six almost 6% today. Uh, I believe it's going to be seeing lower price targets, and I'll go over the reasons why. So it looks like in the past there was this downtrend channel in play. Uh, it's no longer in play, but that doesn't mean we're not going to continue down. Uh, we could always start a new downtrend channel, but this was the downtrend channel previously in play. Uh, it was complete because we had a break outside the pattern, a few legs down to a new low. And once traders saw that, that's why we went inside of this sideways consolidation pattern because uh, when you have a buyer and a seller, they're not sure what to do now because the downtrend pattern is played out. So the seller is like, eh, uh, maybe there isn't really a good reason to continue selling the market. And then buyers are like, man, uh, that was a large sell off. I'm not sure if I should be buying right now. And they wait. So it's kind of like what this is what you get, this consolidation or range since we had um, the pattern complete. So we had this consolidation for about uh, several months it looks like it started back in May early May and we went sideways to about August before breaking out so this is about a 10 point range support around the $30 level resistance at the $40 level prices were just bouncing inside of this very slim range uh, we did see a breakout here so once traders saw this you can see a lot of sellers aggressive sellers came in the market because they're like okay this is a good opportunity uh to sell so it looks like they're gonna be going for a breakout on the opposite side to stop out all the longs who have the stop losses below this 30 dollar level so um, i'm expecting the breakout on the bottom side i think there's a high likelihood of that occurring especially since the market is pulling back too so if we get a break on the bottom side there's a good chance to also make a mesh and move and the mesh and move target is at the $22 level. If I do a range breakout, then this target is right around the $20 level. So I'm looking for the low 20s. If this breakout is successful, sometimes we can just do a peekaboo where we break out just a little bit, maybe the $28 level and reverse immediately. Um, that is a possibility, but I'm just going to assume that we're going to break out and it's going to be successful and we hit these lower price targets because the market is pretty bearish. Uh, so that's pretty much everything I have for the daily chart for Shopify. Uh, we were we had a big downtrend. Prices were at the 175 dollar level. Now we're trading sub 50, so a very large sell off. Uh, I still think this company is kind of overvalued um, slightly, but um, at these lower price levels, it might be a good opportunity. Uh, but this is just a technical analysis channel. Basically, I see a downtrend, consolidation, failed breakout on the top side, gonna lead to a frail breakout on the bottom side. Most likely it's gonna be successful because the bias and context is down and I'm looking for the low 20. So let's go and wrap it up on the weekly chart. And here we have the weekly chart for Shopify. Uh, looks like that breakout came right near that EMA, which we have not been near for a long time, pretty much since uh, the start of this year. So we finally pulled back to it. I think this breakout is going to trap in a lot of longs thinking we bought them and now you see the uh, sellers come in, hit the stop losses of the bulls and we're going to probably see a large move down after this $30 level breaks because in the past there was also a strong support there too. So it's probably a lot of longs trapped, um, we're going to see a, probably a big move down maybe. Sometimes we could just do a fail breakout too for the shorts uh, but since the market is pretty bearish I'm expecting the low 20s. Uh, the next level between this $30 level uh, is the, looks like the $17 level. So between the 30 and the $17 level is not really a lot of support. You can see that the price action just went up without creating any floors. It just kind of like went up and barely had any pullback. So it's not really a strong support anywhere in between this $30 level and the $17 level. So expecting low price targets. Market's pretty bearish right now. Uh, looks like they want to continue to drop it. And I believe these stocks that are highly uh, leveraged, overvalued or whatever, there's a lot of liquidity still in this market. Uh, I think they want to just 
uh, suck it bone dry. So that's all I have for Shopify on the daily and weekly charts. I think there's a good probability to reach those low 20s. Um, and we'll go from there. Thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised on what you can learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great context, um, content to you guys. See you next time and bye.